So we all like to watch TV or at least TV shows, but we don't like to buy televisions because they can be expensive. Now, TCL, we've known at least from last year, uh, have done a really good job in providing uh, budget line televisions with some really good quality. Now, this year with the six series, they say they've taken things to the next level. So we're on our couch and we are checking out the brand new six series. Now, one thing I like about this TV is that it's got a really nice look and design. They've really upped things from last year. Again, price point is around 649, so which is about the same for the 55 inch, which is what I am testing right now. But what I like about this TV is the design look. Uh, it's on my TV stand and it's got two stands, basically two feet that kind of stick out to the sides. Gives it this very nice retro look. Also feels like a picture frame just in terms of the overall bezel look and design. Thinner bezels, by the way. And this looks good if you're hanging it up on the wall or you have it on a TV stand like I do. Give you a very nice look and feel. Now, this of course is powered by Roku and you know TCL has had that partnership for quite a while. So you've got your Roku remote, you've got Roku built into the TV. I like it, I really do. It makes it very simple and easy, of course, because a lot of people know Roku, but it's also easy and simple to use. You don't have a convoluted system in terms of operating. It also feels really snappy. Now, um, performance-wise, going through applications, looking for the different TV apps you want, it's easy to find them, easy to install, easy to actually set up and use. That is a good thing. Now with the Roku TV remote, you've got a couple of functionalities. You've got from quick access. You've got quick access to Netflix, Hulu, Sling, and Direct TV now. So if you have any of the services, it's all at a fingertip to kind of jump into that. That being said, you do have a search um, uh, option with a microphone. So you can actually search for different things like um, say Man of Steel or Thor Ragnarok, or you can actually use it to open and launch an application. And it does pretty well, actually handles pretty well with that. I do like it, the remote is also really simple and easy to use. The one thing that's a little bit annoying is the volume buttons are on the right hand side with the mute button. So you tend, sometimes you might forget that, okay, that's where the volume button is and not something that's just in front of you. But I do like simple remote, so I'm glad at least this is still simple. So let's talk about TV. What do we have built in? Um, they support Dolby Vision on here, HDR10 as well. So if you have HDR10 content, like say some of my 4K Blu-rays, whether it's something like Rampage or if it's something like Ready Player One, yes, those you can view on this TV and, and, and use the uh, uh, HDR10 format. Also supports Dolby Vision, so you, of course, people like Netflix to have Dolby Vision as well support, you will find content there that you can actually use. Now, how does stuff actually look on the TV, your 4K HDR content? Again, this is a $649 TV. It's really good. Now, this is a, it's a backlit, it's not an edge, it's a backlit TV. Um, uh, content looks sharp and vibrant, not as vibrant as some of your high-end TV sets, but again, when you put the price point together, you go, this is really nice. Now, of course, there is some light lead, that is something you can't deny on here. It's just there, but it's something that at least the TV, with this TV, you understand what you're getting. And I have to say though, I am I really liked what they've done with the TV set. Now, one thing that's really cool is they've got this screensaver mode uh, that kind of just floats through and shows you different things you can actually watch. It's fun, it's actually interesting. I remember I was cooking in my kitchen. I turned around and I saw the screensaver and I was like, oh, well, what is that? And then it floated like, um, a menu or something that I could watch, like say Gordon Ramsay uh, show or any other thing, it feels that it's you might be interested in watching. It's nothing scientific, doesn't really look at what you watch as content, but it's it's nice to have that in there. Now, some of you think, okay, look, what about gaming? I wanna get, uh, I have an Xbox One or I have a PS4 and I wanna game on this TV. Uh, of course, input lag is something that will be very mindful, especially if you're playing a lot of first-person shooters or racing games. This doesn't have a game mode specifically, so that is not there. And you will notice some input lag. It kind of comes in and out. I was playing some Gears of War. I could notice it while playing Gears of War. It felt a little bit, but it's nothing too crazy that's gonna set you off your game. I'll just say, if you're playing a first-person shooter and you're playing online, that might be something you know you might have to think about or at least 
hone your skills right there. Now, uh, the TV has a couple of modes. It's got a vivid mode, it's got a bright mode, it's got a low power mode. So you've got those modes there to support your HDR content. I'm not exactly sure what the exact nit ratio for this TV is, but it seems bright enough, actually brighter than some, at least brighter than most um, OLEDs that I have seen. So for me, that actually is a plus and a benefit. Now, the speakers on the system, you've got built-in speakers here, is where I, I say it's a, it's a bit of a letdown for me. Um, especially with the kind of picture quality I'm getting at this price point. The speakers are very tinny. Uh, they're not as sharp or vibrant. And of course, you can, I don't expect too much from TV speakers, but then again, a lot of companies have been improving in that aspect. And I was hoping to see that, at least some of that here. So I would suggest get a sound bar if you're gonna get this. It's something you can pick up and use with this TV. But overall, I think TCL has done a fantastic job with this TV set. It is really, really good. Um, it's a solid offering of 55 inch for $649, supports Adobe Vision HDR10. Uh, you've got some really nice picture quality. Uh, this is a backlit TV set. And it's something that, you know what, doesn't break the bank. Like you don't have to spend too much money to buy a TV set. That is really good. It's cheaper than your smartphone. Think about it. If you're buying like a Galaxy or an iPhone, this is cheaper um, and you don't feel like you're wasting money. That is the main thing. And that's why I will recommend the TCL 6 Series for anyone who's looking to pick up a TV and is not looking to break their wallet. So if you have any questions or any comments, guys, let me know, I'll try and answer them for you. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, and definitely subscribe to the channel. This is Thunder E uh, saying thank you very much. Also want to thank Warner Brothers for sending the Blu-rays that I used in this, just acknowledging that fact. Um, and also thanking um, uh, TCL for sending this TV so I can actually check it out and review. So again, leave your comments down below. And uh, if you want to pick up the TV, use the Amazon link. And this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.